So both stags are running. Um, got rid of, got resolved all my issues with uh, the float, the lights, and everything. So I thought I will attempt to work on a couple of soft top frames that I have. And uh, I, I actually have um, two running stags, one shell. And so between all of them, I have about six soft top frames that are in various states of repair. Uh, I just picked up another one that I was donated um, uh, in January. So I thought, you know what, let me find all the nuts and bolts and make one decent one, at least the frame and, and keep the rest in the shed. So just a couple of videos here is one that I've been painting uh bits and pieces and um i think i can make maybe four out of i've actually got some frame parts missing if anyone wants feels like donating some parts i'll be happy to take them i need a spring and i need this arm um somebody had removed that and a couple of things i wanted to point out is that i have between the soft top frames uh I have here about 15 unique bolts um, for the various frames that I have and I, I do have an early one. I, I was talking to a person, uh, Chris Spain, he's uh, on one of the SLC forums he's the go-to guy for uh, soft top questions and um, I think he's retired now, he doesn't he used to repair them for people. And what I found is I have 15 unique bolts for the soft top frame. And so if you do have a soft top frame bolt that snaps, you, you know, you might be lucky to get the right one. You may not be lucky to get the right one, depending on your soft top frame. As I said here, there's 15 unique uh, bolts. The shoulders are different. But I've sort of partitioned them into shoulders. Now, some of the shoulders are the same but the threads are slightly longer so I think I can overlap some of them but you know 15 unique ones is quite a lot also there's a, a, a range of washers the uh, starting from the thin washers thin ones are pretty consistent um, but you know I have I think I found six seven uh, variations of washers of different thicknesses there's one here and I, I partitioned them out Here's one here. I'm not sure if you can make out, but anyway, there, you know, here's a massive one here, you can see. So, you know, depending on what I'm going to put back, I'm just going to try and match pairs of bolts and put them in the frame. Uh, here's one of the frames that I had the thing. This is the second one that I had that this end thing snapped off. Uh, the weld, I do, I did weld one on, and I'm, I'm going to weld this one back on. Uh, soft top, I rail I cleaned up and uh, I will plan to use that. Let me pause a minute. So here's one frame that I got and I'm trying to put this one together. This is actually going to be my spare one that has bits and pieces missing so I just put it together with nuts and bolts. This apparently is an early Mark 1 uh, frame. Um, this is the catch that's on the uh, Mark 1 left right hand side. Um, the left hand side's missing, but let me go and get the uh, catch uh, quickly. Again, so this is the actual catch they replaced on the later stags. So if you wanted to do a retrofit, you'd have to drill holes into the frame. I don't know if it's a hardened frame or whatever, but anyway, this is something. Also, if your frame is straight, then these work well. Uh, Stag Weber, Chris Spain, um, used to make these uh, decent ones. Um, I think he sold the company to somebody, but they think you can still get them. You can also still get the original ones from James Paddock if you want. But if your frame is slightly bent, you may want to consider getting the ones from Chris Spain. Um, one thing I've been struggling with on my current purple stag and I think I may have the problem is when I put the frame uh, down in the car 
one of the sides it's actually the other side but I'll give an example it stays up like this and the other, one side is fine but one side won't go down and I, I took all the levers off and I determined that is uh, I couldn't figure out what was going on so since I had this one here what I realize and I think I have to test it is if you notice the way it goes down is this arm is straight moves this this bracket this bracket is held on the car with three points one two and then I think there's three three actually I'm not sure now yeah three and I'm thinking I will investigate further is if this is not sitting straight because as you can see as I move this arm back slightly you can see it's you move out zoom out a bit you can see it moves a little bit so I'm thinking that these this these, these are not in parallel to the car or I can maybe wiggle it a little bit uh, hopefully so this will go down because what I'm doing currently is I'm forcing it down and I can see the flexing going on so I'm hoping it is that uh, this is another one um, another thing what I came across is that the rear rail needs to sit on the tonu cover and one of the rails that I has is actually flat it's it sits on the the back okay but here it's sitting high so again Chris Spain had said that you can actually bend them a little bit um, this one here was bent and he says you basically you know can bend them somewhat now what I found is is if to bend them if you connect it back into the bare frame ah, let me move this. connect this is one of those this is a later frame you can tell because of the clip this this thing should be curved you can see there is a curve here more but he said what I found is I was actually able to bend it while it was all anchored sorry about the uh, shaking around and I'm gonna the, the thing is I'll take this off um, Put it on the car what i'll do is tape up the car so it doesn't scratch the chrome because this is there's no rubber on this i'm gonna see if i can bend it even more to the right profile of the tonu covers so, you know you can see the car curves so the one that i uh had a problem was is, is it's literally flat this curves disappeared off the middle i don't know if you can see that one that one's also pretty much flat at the back but it really should be curved Let's just show you that. This one's also, I think, got the same problem. It's flat at the back, which it shouldn't be. It's flat. It, it should be curved. This one's got a slight little, I can see a little bit of air in the middle, so but it probably needs bending more. Also, Chris Bain mentioned um, you may need to uh, weld the anchor point here, but I'll do that later. So I think I can get this one working. Um, as I said, you want to be careful with all the washers and bolts and everything. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit because uh, there's all different flavors and combinations of uh, bolts and bolt sizes I, I think in one of earlier videos I mentioned about this point breaks there are people who put rivets and nuts and bolts in there this one's pretty okay and then all I'm gonna do is hook up the uh, rest of the arms oh another thing is the um, just one second I'm gonna pause again one of the rods that they typically bend you can see this isn't exactly straight a friend of mine straightened it out for me and they'll typically bend at this uh, bolt hole and it's quite difficult to get flat and a friend of mine did straighten this as much as he could but Aldridge trimming makes uh, I think for 60 pounds you can buy reinforced ones of these new ones so that may be an option but uh, yeah this is what I'm doing with my uh, one of my soft top frames just as I said cars are running relatively well um, just sort of pondering on this uh, soft top frame so I can put it back in the shed uh, as I said I'm looking for some parts if anyone wants to donate some let me know and then I can probably recommission another a frame not that I'm gonna do anything with it but maybe someone you know bite off me or whatever anyway uh, Happy uh, 
Oh, another thing, there's some rubber, there's some metal things uh, that go between here. I think you can buy them for $10. There's a spring thing. Uh, I have some of those. They, they stop the canvas getting caught. And then there's also like an elastic, like those underwear elastics that people have between the various... Actually, I think it's... Oh, it might be this bar here. Between this bar and one of the other bars, there's basically some more anchor points that... Yeah, uh, there you go. That's my soft top frame video. Another thing, just thought I'd point mention people do have issues with uh, the soft top frame not working. There is a bit of there's three bolts on this side and three bolts on the other side where you can actually adjust the rear rail back slightly or forwards or up and down. There's a little bit of movement in that uh, rail so it's something if your soft top isn't fitting at the back uh, you can adjust the rail this is a broken uh, this is interesting uh, I think I've got a different type of um, lock on some of them but as I said this is the earlier one so there were slight differences between the earlier lock and the later lock okay so I went and got these um, springy things and as I said these things go in one hooks on this end I don't know how I'd have to try and figure out I've got a video on how to do it and then one goes on this end something like this and it slides up and down I think it's like this um, or the other way around and then another thing as I mentioned that you've got those adjustments that you can do um, these are the things that it bolts onto now I don't know if you can make make out, but um, the holes are not symmetrically placed. They're actually look like they're, I don't know if it was badly drilled or something. I don't know if you can see that, but it's possible that you can get more of an angle out of it by putting these brackets one way in compared to another. I'm not 100% sure. That's something to look into. Uh, unfortunately, as usual, I pull things apart and don't make a specific note. Now, uh, here, this is the rail. I just got this. Uh, this is the rail that uh, was having problems. Uh, so what I did, I masked, masked up this thing here. And as you can, I told you about that curve at the back. So it sits flat right there. But if you look, I can put my hand in there probably half an inch or so. Um, if you're thinking metric, it's about 10 mil. And then I got the same problem on this side here, about 10 mil. Chris Spain again mentioned that you can put pressure on it and, and try and figure that out. Those are the three holes uh, that you give adjustment back and forward. So you, you, you have maybe half an inch, not half an inch, a couple of quarter inch, whatever, back and forward and what have you. Some nice plug on the toner cover. There was these plugs of a guy on um, I found on Facebook. Ian Collier he sent me some of these um, plugs. Been looking for these for a long time. Very nice guy to work with. Um, I can send you his contact email. I've got his WhatsApp number if you want, or his email address. He's out of UK, by the way. But uh, I bought some ones from him, and I got. So that's just something, but yeah, that's uh, something for interesting. I do see um, people, they basically have a, they work on a shell and get their soft top working on the shell. As I said, this is, this car will need painting at some point. I've been given permission to paint it by my wife, but waiting for my kid to get out of college and then he can pay and get it painted. Um, so yeah, that's, I think the last bit of my video, hopefully. I don't think there's any other issue. Um, on the soft top. Um, there's a place in quite a few places in uh, US you can buy these shims. Um, apparently they're called Arbor shims. I went on a place called Magmaster Car. You can get different thickness shims. So if you want to, you know, tighten up all these joints, you can probably get different size shims. I just picked up about for twenty dollars. And then shipping on top, I think I picked up about 50 shims of a certain spring steel. You can get stainless steel, you can get different ones, but 
Anyway, that's uh, something you may want to be looking into. So this is the uh, uh, the other rear rail I thought I'd just try it. The uh, right hand side is sitting up, but the left hand side is sitting is okay. Um, little welding is needed at the bracket in the middle, but I just wanted to. I thought since I'm working on it, I'll take it off. This yellow stag, uh, which is my February uh, 71, um, the soft top had been, uh, the, the, uh, the, I didn't realize until later that I think the soft top got stuck in the catch and somebody had pulled it up from here and they had bent it. I didn't really notice it at the time, but the soft top is stuck in the hole. The catch came off. Uh, and it fell down and it's really wedged in there so I think I'll uh, wait till my son comes and then I may need to um, you know, undo the uh, the soft top frame from the anchor points and wiggle it out but it is badly uh, bent and it is really wedged in there uh, fortunately this seat I didn't put the bolts in to uh, anchor this down because as people are aware that Trying to get to the bolts of the uh, rear seat is a pain, um, and uh, so you know I don't have that in there. But I, I need a second helper maybe to get that soft top frame up. The soft top frame in this one, uh, as I said, the uh, this side, uh, right hand side. Let me just quickly open it. it. Doesn't go down properly. Let me open it up to show you quickly. Um, this side is actually sticking up. I undid everything just to try and get it down. It, it, if I push it, falls it down, it'll go down. But uh, as I said, I think maybe this bracket, I, I'm going to investigate if I can rotate this. Uh, I'll probably take this thing off and rotate it just like uh, the uh, uh, other one I showed you over there. But see if you look at that side, it's, 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 it's lower. If I go around, it sits above, and you can make that out, it sits above the uh, door, and I think that's what I need to do. This sits perfect, it's all nice and low. As you can see, all the rubber things are all missing and everything, but it's okay. This soft top was changed. Uh, I took it off a parts car about 15 years ago, it's still pretty okay. Uh, plastics is a bit iffy but um, I just put it on here so yeah sorry about the long-winded videos this is another rail that I've offered up to the stag and uh, yeah it's uh, sitting a lot better on the edges so I'm sitting pretty flat. I think I'll uh, use this one. This one was bent, and again I straightened one of the arms, but it's got that nice curve to it. So I think I'll uh, consider using this one. Uh, the other one I probably will need uh, a second pair of hands. My kid is at college to try and bend that one, but uh, I think for now I'm just going to take the rust off this, paint this one up, and use this one. I did mark this time uh, when I took these arms off. I did mark left and right. This one's left and this one's right. And again, you know, the holes are all over the place. It's just like random, random holes here. But let's say you know you do have a problem, you could probably shift some of the holes here or there, possibly to get you a bit more movement. Maybe and you can't really shift it once the holes are there. But yeah, you may better move things around anyway so hopefully we're all set so i'm well happy with that at least i can use that rail and move forward okay